Thanks for joining us today. Today we are making flavoring extracts for baking. Extracts are super easy. If you've ever looked at the ingredients on the back of the bottle at the grocery store, it's whatever it is the extract of and alcohol of some sort. Today we're going to use lemons, oranges, and cinnamon. So first off, I've got some small clean bottles. Uh, I bought these at the Dollar Tree. They were $1.25 each. They have the little cork thing and they hold not quite eight ounces, I think. Now they're a little bit big still for extracts, but once you put the ingredients all in, there's not going to be as much alcohol as you would think. So first we will start with cinnamon because it's the easiest. Now I bought these in the Mexican food section in the little tiny bags. They're already cut to a small size and you're just going to fill up your bottle. Now I'm going to be honest, I've never done this before and I really hope it works out because I'd like to make this a Christmas gift. There we go. We've got a whole bunch of cinnamon sticks in there. And now if you've ever done tinctures, you know that Melissa doesn't know how to open a bottle, apparently. There we go. Um, it is the alcohol that pulls the medicine, medicine, quote, medicine, the, the healing or the beneficial properties. We'll say that it is the alcohol that pulls the beneficial properties out of the plants and uh, makes your tincture for you. So we're going to do the same thing and I should have grabbed a funnel. Pause one moment. Okay, I'm back with a funnel. There we go. And you're just going to fill it up. Whoa. Yeah, I filled it up all right. Okay. And cork it. First one is done. And that's the easiest one to do. Isn't that just pretty? Okay. Next, we're going to do some lemon. Now, I could not get organic lemons in the grocery store. Um, these were covered in wax, so I gave them a good soak in uh, white vinegar and water. It pulled the wax right off. I rubbed them clean under clean water, and so now we have clean lemons. I'm taking a vegetable peeler, and I am peeling just the outside edge off. Oh, you can already smell it. And because this is pretty small, we've got to figure out how to stuff this in, right? We're stuffing it right in. There we go. And we're just going to keep going. And we're only taking that outside part of the peel. We don't want any of the white because the white is going to be bitter and that's actually not where the good flavor is anyway. And this is one of those things that you could do in just a few minutes before you have to go to work, which is exactly what I'm doing right now. Uh, I'm already dressed to go to the job. Come on, get in there. Shake down, thank you. Uh, and I'm just going to whip these out. And if you're just doing one set, you could do one set in, you know, 15, 20 minutes. Or if you want to do a lot of them, you could just get a big mason jar and do like a whole quart at a time. Let it sit for a couple of months and then pour that extract into small amber bottles for gift giving. And it's so easy with a vegetable peeler. I mean, you could do it with a knife if you're more talented than I am. We want to fill this right up, get as much in there as we can. 
super lemony. When you do this, you want to make sure that you're using a good flavor of vodka. And uh, if you don't drink vodka, I do not drink vodka. I used to drink vodka. That's why I don't drink vodka. Um, but you want to get one that has a better flavor because the flavor of your vodka will affect the flavor of your extract. So if you don't drink vodka, then, or if you don't drink alcohol at all, just ask somebody at the store what is a better flavor and it usually is put on the shelves in order of how good they are. So the cheapest ones taste really absolutely horrible and they're kind of near the bottom. And the more expensive ones uh, are supposed to have a better flavor and they're generally near the top. All right. And I overfilled that one too. But, oops. go. That is so pretty. All right, we have one more to go. And now we're going to get with the orange. And I picked up some navel oranges. This one has a funny navel. And we're going to do the same thing here. The narrower these strips, the easier they go in. I'm going to do a few. Unfortunately, I washed these a few days ago and then stuck them in my fridge. So the skin is already starting to get a little uh, soft, or rubbery or whatever. If I'd waited much longer, I'd have had to oops. If I'd waited much longer, I would have had to um, get new oranges. The husband's been uh, eyeing my fruit. He loves lemons. And so this fruit will not go to waste uh, because Brock absolutely loves fruit. And he eats lemons the same way most people eat an orange. He cuts it in slices and eats all but the little white part. The, I think they call it the pith.
fill this one up. You get to that neck and it goes fast. Large amounts of extract, obviously you're going to take large amounts of vodka, but you can buy that stuff by the half gallon or even bigger, I think, and uh, just, you know, make a quart of each kind. Purchase some small bottles. After a couple of months, you're gonna pour it into the small bottles. And then you could put a little store-bought tag on it you can make a tag with your Cricut or just by cutting some cardstock and rounding off the corners, tie it on with a little bit of raffia, which would be kind of pretty. If you could get it down there, see, a little bit of raffia. Um, but it, it would make a great gift, perfect for a gift from the homestead. If you live someplace where you can grow citrus, you could use your own citrus. If you make your own spirits, you could use your own homemade spirits. Um, but uh, yeah, there we go. We have homemade baking extracts. They're really pretty. Right there for gift giving for Christmas. Merry Christmas.